helps, I guess, if you take like the top off. I'm just thinking. What if I added some um, greenish blue from Amsterdam? Note to self, get more tube paint. These big pots are killing me. So this is the first. I'm actually going to add the uh, Cronacridone Magenta directly onto the canvas. I don't know, I've never done that before. been using any titanium white. I have been using gesso in all the abstract pieces. I would never use it in acrylic pouring. <laughs> that would be dumb. I would definitely use it when doing an abstract piece. I don't know what it is about gesso. I'm, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's not so opaque and in your face like titanium white. Um, it's got like a creamier, nicer consistency. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like, uh, I don't know, maybe gesso is the new white. You know, like gray is the new blonde. And then I told myself. dry I decided to make my own collage paper yeah this was the first so I took white tissue paper and I just used um, paint and my brayer and rolled over top of it yeah and then I let it dry and this is what I got now I was kind of stupid when I did it I'll be the first to admit it was a really big sheet like these sheets I think are 50 by 70 like the same size as the canvas as it was drying because I was impatient and I thought I would hang it to dry it kind of folded in on itself and then it's acrylic paint right and it's kind of like glue, so they kind of like stuck together. Hey, and if you've ever made your own collage paper, let me know down in the comments below. Yeah, this was my first attempt at it. I will try it again though. Now, you know what I didn't realize when I was making collage paper? Like kind of before you commit to the canvas, you could kind of like play around with the pieces and kind of create a composition and then go, mm, okay, I guess I can add it now to the canvas. I, I think I'm kind of comfortable with it. So there's a tip for you. If uh, you're kind of nervous, if you have commitment issues, <laughs> you could actually make the collage paper yourself or tissue paper or whatever you want. And you can just uh, play with the composition on the canvas and then you can commit later and glue it down. Oh, that's kind of a, it's kind of handy, right? All right, I still think it's missing something. A while back I bought some gold leaf in various colors. If it's various colors though, is it really gold leaf if it's not gold? I don't know. I have a pink one. If it's not gold, is it gold leaf or is it just leaf? That sounds kind of stupid. Is it pink leaf? I'm still feeling like this piece needs a little bit more texture. So I'm just going to take some fine modeling paste, mix it with some paint, make it pink because I, you know, pink is the theme of the day and just apply some more texture here on the canvas and see how that goes.
some of that leftover Tim Holtz collage paper from the previous piece I did. So I'm just going to throw that on here too. Hey, why not? And if it wasn't busy enough, how about some bubble wrap? Yeah, let's just throw that on there. Going with some more weight just so I ain't using titanium weight ever again. But yeah, it's fun, right? The Witty 3-in-1 Arty. And let's see, multi, oh, multi-talented. <laughs> I like to think of myself as multi-talented. Multi-talented pencil. They're a coloring pencil, a wax crayon, and watercolor all in one. So I'm gonna use a black woody, <laughs> sounds so wrong, and a white woody. Yeah, and make some marking things. a uh, collaboration amongst a few of us artists here in Europe. I'll link in the description box below all of the other artists here in Europe that we're premiering this evening so that if in case you missed it, you can go catch them later on the replay. And I know coming up after me is Saskia Smith over at Saskia Smith Art. So be sure to stick around and uh, join us on her channel. Mm -hmm.